Spoilers for Episode 5 of HBO's The Last of Us. The overarching theme of this show is starting to make itself known, the horrible links we will go to for the people we love. In this episode, we find out that Henry ratted out Kathleen's brother to Fedra in order to get cancer medication for his brother Sam. Henry is aware of what he's done and even confesses to Joel that he killed a man, despite not physically participating in the act, just giving up a name feels like murder to him. This is mirrored through Kathleen's obsession with finding Henry. The love for her brother has led her to hyper-focus on taking out Henry instead of addressing the bubbling danger under Kansas City. This comes to a head at the climax of the episode, when the infected explode out of the ground in a moment of pure chaos. Until now, we haven't seen what a horde of infected is capable of, making the scene extra frightening. Earlier in the episode, we get some endearing moments between Ellie and Sam where they both get to feel like children briefly. They play, they share comics, and Sam teaches Ellie a little bit of American Sign Language. Really great stuff. This builds to an emotional moment after a run-in with the infected, where Sam reveals to Ellie that he got bitten on the leg. Both Kevon Woodard and Bella Ramsey give fantastic performances this whole episode, but this moment is my favorite between the two of them. When Ellie wakes up the next morning, it broke my heart. Sam has faced away from Ellie. This is likely the last conscious decision that he makes before becoming taken over by the Cordyceps. Ellie calls his name and there's no response because Sam is still deaf. It isn't until she puts her hand on his shoulder that he's aware she's there. Sam is gone. Give me the gun. Give me the gun, Henry. Give me the gun. Henry! This episode was a doozy, and it seems that the remaining four episodes will maintain that tone. What did you think of Endure and Survive? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, I've been Barista Brand, and you've been awesome.